so today's video is going to be one major poete. It's actually a major review or collaboration and the theme is hidden gems. So every fragrance mentioned in this video is, well, we think is a hidden gem. Should get some, uh, some more shine in the community, a little bit of mention, and definitely very under the radar. Now I actually have two fragrances here. They're both decants. Uh, I'm actually at a stage in my uh, journey where I just want some decants nowadays. But the first one is more of a uh, fall and winter fragrance. It's from the house of Valentino. Unfortunately, it is discontinued and it's very expensive. But this is Valentino V put on. So it's got notes of pink pepper, vanilla, cacao, sandalwood, amber. This is definitely a very sexy and seductive fragrance. It is mature. Now, I don't mean old man mature. Now, more of an, uh, of an attitude or the way you carry yourself. It's uh, very versatile and just phenomenal. And the second one is more of a spring and summertime fragrance. And this is Vince Camuto Pur Om. So this is more of a resort in a bottle I find because of that note of gin. But some of the other notes are juniper, lavender, cy uh, cypress, citrus, white birch, and more. So these are my two picks, Valentino V, a little 5 ml decan. I got a 15 ml decan on the way and uh, Vince Camuto put on. But let's just get this party started. Now who's next? Hey, how's it going guys? It's Mio from Breaking Next, place where we do fragrance reviews. Today, we are doing a hidden gem that's pretty cheap, but you get a bang for your buck, you know? So uh, if you're looking for something that's not too pricey, but it smells like it is, then I definitely would recommend Tommy Bahama. Very cool. It's a great fragrance. It gives a woody aquatic type of smell. The main accords on this are a fresh spicy citrus aromatic wood green earthy type of cool scent is what I get from this. I mean I feel like I'm on a tropical vacation. For a 3.4 ounce bottle, for $25, that's a steal. So check this out, this is my hidden gem. Tommy Bahama, very cool. Check it out. Hey guys, Timmy here for the channel Imagine Scent. First of all, I'd like to thank Shad from A Gentleman's Journey for having me on this collaboration. You're a really awesome guy, and I am very, very glad to be here. So without further ado, let's get started. My hidden gem scent for today is gonna be from Abercrombie & Finch, and that is the lesser known Woods. Guys, this is Lavender Vetiver and musk. It is super fresh, super clean, and super, super sexy. This one smells like lavender soapiness with a punch of musk in the background that just makes this fragrance smell uber masculine. Even the bottle art looks masculine, guys. <laughs> Can't say enough good thing about this. The only sad thing about this fragrance is that it is discontinued, but if you can find it cheap online, definitely check it out. This is one for the collection for sure. Um, that's it for me. On to the next reviewer. Bye. Okay, hi Chad, and thanks very much for having me in this video. So I know a lot of you Canadians speak French, so my director Dave has written me a little greeting in French to say to you. Let's see, here we go. Je suis un imbécile anglaise chauve. Not sure what it means, but I think it's just basically hi and thanks for having me on the show. So my scent that is a hidden gem that I've chosen is Cacherelle Pour Homme. Okay, so it's a 1981 release, uh, and this one is a fresh herbal spicy scent. It's got notes uh, such as lemon, bergamot, lavender, nutmeg and cedarwood and sandalwood. So you've got some woodiness, a fresh citrus opening. No one ever talks about it but it's a really interesting kind of green herbal scent that's quite unlike anything I've ever smelled and I think it might be that nutmeg note that makes it so unique. It's widely and cheaply available. Certainly here in England, it's sitting unloved on the lower shelves of our high street stores and it's Cacherelle Pour Homme. Check it out, folks. Howdy, this is Mark from Real Frags for Real Men and this is a collaboration video with A Gentleman's Journey. Thank you for the invite, I'm honored. And my hidden gem of the day is this here baby. Salvador Dali by Salvador Dali. Uh, looks weird, but let me tell you one thing. This is the real deal. This is the business. So Salvador Dali for men, it's very strong very dry, spicy, earthy, super masculine, and on my skin, which eats up fragrances whole, 
and some of the allegedly strongest fragrances are just disappeared after three hours this one lasts 12 hours plus okay uh the top notes are new immediately this is for me and it just continues on in in great fashion into the into the hard notes bass notes it's fantastic it's it's a really old school masculine manly dry woody spicy just just the real a real 80s powerhouse men's cologne so if that's what you're looking for something that lasts you something that other people will notice something that smells great and masculine and not frou frou sweet and uh, flowery like many of the modern uh, designer frags this is a must try okay this is mark from uh, real frags real men and i'll talk to you soon hey everybody it's me moody boo and thank you chad for inviting me to be in on this video um my first hidden gem is paris monte carlo ylang ylang nosy b it's mostly ylang ylang and vanilla you do get some other little floral notes in there but that's mostly what it is a little bit of wood notes in the dry down a little feminine but i love it my second one is Derek Lambton crosby something wild and this one is very simple it's vanilla and cedar and this one I think is very unisex. I think anybody could pull this off pretty easily. My last one is an independent perfume. And this is by Hot Perfumes. And this is called Socks. That's it. And I love this stuff. It's like a really nice citrus kind of a, a perfume. Great for summer. And this one is Orange Peel, Red Berries, Chili Powder, Rose, White Musk. And I get the Orange Peel and the Red Berries and then in the Dry Down, the White Musk. But I don't really get the Chili Powder, unfortunately. But there is a little bit of kick to it, so maybe that's the Chili Powder. Anyway, that's it for me. I hope you all have a good day. Hey, Peace. How's it going to everybody? My name is Brad. My channel name is Triple Inc. Thanks for including me in this collaboration video chat. And today I'm going to be discussing with you guys my favorite hidden gem fragrance. So hidden gems are always cool because they're kind of under the radar, you don't expect them, but they're very high quality and in most cases they smell great. And this is one is no exception. This is the younger brother to the Creed Virgin Island Water Clone, which we all know is Tommy Bahamas Set Sail St. Bart's. This is the younger brother that I think doesn't get as much attention. This is Tommy Bahamas Set Sail Martinique. So this one, guys, I think is really, really good. First of all, it's very cheaply priced. You can get it about the same price as Cecil St. Bart's, around $20 for a full 100ml bottle. And basically, this smells like a very salty, aquatic scent. It has some green nuances in there, and I think it's really, really good. This is very casual and relaxing, great for the summertime, and I think it's a definitely a hidden gem from the house. So I would go check this one out. So peace out, guys. On to the next reviewer. Thanks again, Chad, for including me in this. Hey, what's up, guys? Platinum Surfer here. Gentleman's Journey, thanks for having me on. And today we're talking about the gem in my collection. And the gem in my collection is Cartier Declaration Soir Intense. Okay, this is a gem in my collection because it's very unique. I love it, and it performs very well. I get a lot of compliments with this, and to me, it's pretty very versatile for me. Uh, Where this is the club, where this to work. Not too much to work, but I wear this to the club and I wear this out uh, out and about as a, as a uh, all season scent. But this really shines more in the fall and the night, okay? I love this scent. I got this at Neiman Marcus for $110, but now you can get it online for like $30 right now. So I went ahead and got a backup bottle because of that. And just to make sure in case this gets reformulated or discontinued. This cologne, I got um, on a whim and I was so surprised when I sprayed it on. It's a really modern scent, okay? It's very like new. It just came out in 2014 and the top notes are black pepper, red pepper, and the mid notes is nutmeg. Very nice nutmeg and a rose. The rose really shines in this one, guys. And the base is out with sandalwood and musk. The musk is just really, when it gets to the musk, it's like a sweet, rosy spicy scent at the base and it goes for like 10 hours this is a very very good fragrance okay guys i was so impressed by this one so i had to let you know gem in my collection once again platinum um gentleman's journey thanks for having me on and platinum surfer is signing out peace What's going guys. On guys i'm e of simply put sense thank you so much chat for letting me be a part of this i wanted to share with you guys three fragrances that i think are shamefully underrated. <laughs>
but shouldn't be. From the house of Fragonard in Sans Feftonka. It reminds me a little bit of Spice Bomb. Unbelievable. The second fragrance I'd like to share with you guys is from the house Halston. And the fragrance, Amber Man. Guys, this scent is just wow. It's a wow factor fragrance. It's such a rich scent. It's such a beautiful fragrance. I really don't care that it doesn't last that long. And the last fragrance I wanted to share with you guys is from the house of Bath and Body Works. Very accessible, my friends. And this scent is probably their best, for men at least. And it's called Mahogany Woods. This fragrance is booze. This fragrance is vanilla but it's also got a little bit of spice at the top just to man it up a little bit. The quality of the scent is well beyond what you would expect. Thank you so much, Chad, for letting me be a part of this. Again, I'm E of Simply Put Scents, and I'm Simply. Hi, this is Nabil from Scentonomics. I just want to take this opportunity to thank Chad for allowing me to be part of this Hidden Gems collaboration. So in no particular order, the first fragrance I want to talk about is Thallium. And I think Thallium is one of those hidden gems that in terms of the way it smells, the nice sweet smell it has, for the price tag, I think it can't go wrong. So that would be my very first fragrance. The second fragrance I'd like to bring up is Mancera's So Blue. This is a unique fragrance in terms of its pleasant smell that is suitable for both men and for women. And finally, our third fragrance that I want to bring up or talk about is Amberwood by Ajmal. I had talked about this in a previous video of mine. And Amberwood is a very simple fragrance. It smells like amber and wood. And the thing about this, which is unique, is that it's basically beast mode projection. And in terms of longevity, it'll stay for over 24 hours. So these are the three fragrances that I think are hidden gems. I mean, there's obviously more, but these are three that I think stand out a bit to me. And so again, I'd like to thank Chad for allowing me to be part of this collaboration. So thank you very much, Chad. This is Nabil signing off from Sentonomics, where every scent counts. Hello everyone, Max Forte here with another collab this time around with Chad. Thank you so much, Chad, for putting this together. And this time around, we're talking about hidden jams. I'm gonna give you two. I'm gonna give you two quick hidden jams. One for the warm weather, spring and summer. This is Yope Splash, never hear anything about it. This is actually quite nice, quite intriguing. There's a beautiful note of cassowary fruit in here. This is citrus, it's aquatic with a very nice woodsy background. What a beautiful compliment garner. If you haven't tried this, this is a cheapy, but definitely goodie. Try it out. Last but not least, I'm gonna give you, this is from the house of Northfield Taylors. This is great for fall and winter. Never hear anything about it. This is Northfield's Taylors. Poem it has that little uh, a logo that you know emulates uh, Johnny Walker kind of thing, but this is a beauty of a fragrance. What I get with this, if you like Blue de Chanel and if you like um, Platinum Egoiste by Chanel, it's like a combination of both. A little bit boozy, very aromatic, very intriguing. Definitely great to try it out. Very inexpensive too, might I add. So these these are my two picks. Thank you so much for having me, Chad. On with the next guy. Hey guys, Sci-Fi Boy Stewie here, Chad. Thanks a lot for having me as a part of this video. It's always fun to be working with you. Now I have two picks for hidden gems, and the first one is going to be from the house of Viasel. This is called La Nuit Le Parfum. Its brother, the Eau de Toilette, gets a lot of talk, a lot of chatter, not this one. This, on the other hand, in my opinion, is louder, it is spicier, fruitier, and I, in my opinion, it's actually a much better scent than the current reformulation of La Nuit. That's just my opinion. Go check it out if you're a fan of the original, you might actually like that. The second one is going to be a bit more expensive. It's a niche fragrance and uh, also from the house of YSL, but this is noble leather. This, this is a creamy, slightly smoky leather. The leather in this is just phenomenal. It's one of the best leather fragrances that I've ever put my nose on. You talk about Tuscan leather, I choose this over Tuscan leather any given day. Any given day, you give me this in Tuscan leather, this will be my pick. Also, I like to uh, wear this or layer this with Aventus from the House of Creed, and that combination is twice or thrice better than the Tusca Ventus, as it's called, combination. So in my opinion, these two fragrances are 
pretty much under the radar. Not a lot of people talk about it. I thought I'll do justice by mentioning these two. Thanks again, Chad, for having me. On to the next person. Hey guys, it's me, Delicious Delights. Thank you, Chad, for inviting me once again to do a collab with you. And uh, okay, so hidden gems. There are so many hidden gems in this community. It's like almost unreal how the same fragrances keep on, you know, being, keep, bleh, keep on getting reviewed by so many different uh, reviewers. It's just over and over. And then we tend to like totally forget about the other amazing fragrances that are out there that no one talks about. One of them being my favorite, personal favorite of all time, Mona de Oreo Vanille. Please get your nose on it. It's vanilla rum, booze, woods. It's just so sexy and sensual and I love it. So yes, that's one of them. And another huge favorite of mine is What We Do in Paris is Secret from A Lab on Fire. It's sweet, powdery, fruity, incense -y, and just delicious so that's my name delicious delights on to the next reviewer see ya hey guys thanks chad for uh count me in in this collaboration video well my hidden or hidden gem is uh martinique by tommy bahama what a fragrance it only has four notes lavender it has uh aquatic notes it has bergamot and another note that i don't recall right now <laughs> but definitely a hidden gem because it's very cheap uh, it's very nice. It lasts all day on me and this fragrance uh, can be wear during the whole summer So this is my hidden gem for the video. Thank you Chad for uh, this collaboration Alan right here with Elegante Roma. So, you know guys Tommy Bahama um, Martinique set sail but Martinique. So. Hey Chad, what's up guy? What's up everyone? Hi, it's me I am Joey Canoli and Juju say hi Ju. Hi Hi, this is my hidden gem. It came out in 2009, and look at it. Wow, it's green. I love that color. This is Swiss Unlimited, like Swiss cheese or Swiss rolls for the fat bitches. This is Swiss Unlimited by Victory Knox. And what's good about this is if you look real close, you see that it's green. It's green. It's got absence. You'll be tripping balls when you smell it. This is a very fresh, green, soapy fragrance, and it is fantastic. It's one of my favorites. Look good. at this shit. Yummy! All right, next, from 2006, it's 10 years old today. Look at it, it's a hidden gem, you can't see it, but now I can! Here it is, this is black walnut, a big fat black nut. If you ever want to hold big nuts in your hand, right here. This is black walnut by, this is for the alcoholic, a, 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 a fucking anonymous, or, or, or Chad beeped that out, this is for the alcoholics. It's a boozy, woodsy scent, it's very relaxing in the fall and winter. I am so in love, girl, yes! Slay! Hello! Hey, Chad, hey, Chad, look at, you wanna see my sprayer? Oh, right in your face. How does it smell like black nuts? All right, I have to go. I hope you guys enjoyed my 60 seconds. This I am Joey Cannoli signing out. Look at that. Hey, YouTube, I want to thank my man Chad for letting me uh, in on this little collab. Again, this is the second time I did a collab with Chad. Chad, I want to thank you. All right, my hidden gem, as you see the bottle, I don't know if everybody in, or anybody know about this, but this is called John McSteed Green. Um, it's a hidden gem. It starts off. Uh, with a with a very loud alcohol note, but then it dries down to something nice and nice smelling. I mean, very very good compliment getter. Um, my second bottle, uh, I think it's going for around forty to seventy bucks, depending on where you get it from. But this is my second bottle right here. It got some citrus notes. It got lavender rose. It got uh, bergamot. It got orange blossom. It got oak moss, musk, and sandalwood at the back end. So I'm going to let you know right now, this is a good compliment getter. If you're looking for something that smells good, that's not too offensive, this one right here is a great hidden gem. It's called John McSteed Green. All right, again, I want to thank Chad. You're my boy. See you later. Deuces. Hi, everyone. This is Lander Smith from Sense Memory. And I want to thank Chad for having me join in on what I could, would consider a hidden gem. And my hidden gem was created in 1916 and has been worn by the likes of David Niven, uh, Cary Grant, Audrey Hepburn, Ava Gardner, and Frank Sinatra. It's none other than Aqua de Parma Colonia. Now this is a great fragrance. It's a citrus and it's very fresh. It has lavender, rosemary, Sicilian citrus, Bulgarian rose, jasmine, amber, and light musk. So that is my choice 
for a hidden gem. I just got it and it's really wonderful. Smelly people, I just want to thank you, Chad, so much for this collaboration video. I love seeing these. I love seeing all the reviewers and everyone give us their thoughts on some great fragrances and things like that. So uh, this one is about hidden gems. Uh, this is very hard for me because I learned so much from YouTubers and and uh, fragrance, uh, you know, uh, Facebook, uh, you know, groups, things like that. So a lot of the things that I have are kind of, you know, a lot of them are mainstream, a lot of them everyone kind of knows about. So the hidden stuff is, is kind of tough for me, but this one actually came out in 2008. It's from Nobile 1942. Hopefully I'm saying that right, or Nobile 1942. This one is Aqua Nobile. And I'm telling you guys, this is a blend which is phenomenal. Awesome, it's only $135 a bottle for 100 mil so the price is really good lasts me a, a very long time eight to ten hours plus on longevity it's soft which is really nice i can wear it to work i get a lot of compliments uh, starts off with huge neroli uh, bergamot citruses had some orange blossom but what's really nice about this one it, it, it cools it uh, warms up to like a nice patchouli uh, it has tonka bean in it there's just a lot of nice uh, things going on with this one. So it's, it's just a great blend. Starts off very citrusy, but warms up to something really, really special. So Aqua Nobile by 1942, or Nobile, Nobile 1942. Uh, that's my hidden gem. Uh, thank you, Chad, again so much. I can't wait to see all the rest of your picks, but that's my one uh, kind of hidden gem that, that I really, really love. So we'll talk to you soon, guys, uh, until the next Friends, review. This is Nikhil from Exotic Sense with Nikhil. Thank you, Chad, for this wonderful opportunity. You are a gentleman, and hence I decided to join in. This is my hidden gem from the house of D Squared. Guys, this is an absolute masterpiece for the price because this has got top-notch ingredients. It has got a very, very unique blend with smells of dried, uh, boozy, smoky rose, which is very, very masculine. In the dry down, an absolutely beastly earthy vetiver shows up. The whole blend is constructed very well and it is very pleasing to the nose, very high on the compliments. And doesn't matter which weather you are in, this is going to rock. You can rock it in the parties, you can rock it casually, you can rock it with your friends when you're drinking the beer or just having a casual game of pool. This is my masterpiece and a hidden gem from the house of D Squared. Please watch my channel and please, please try this fragrance. Bye bye. Guys, what is up? Maximilian from Maximilian Must Know here. Just wanted to quickly do this hidden gem video from, from my buddy Chad. Uh, hidden gem sent real quickly. I don't know, this is so hidden, but I haven't heard a ton of hype on this one. And it's one I'll be doing a, a review on pretty soon. Uh, it's called Frambois Noir uh, from Shea and Blue. And for me, guys, it's really about three notes here. Raspberry and, and just in particular berries in general. Oud and Iris. So like if you're a fan of those notes, if you like berries and Oud and Iris and, and some woods, you should definitely check this out. I can't tell you how many compliments I've gotten on this one so far. It's sort of a darker, sweeter scent uh, with an Oud note and Iris. It's just, if you like Diorome, Tuscan leather, things like that, check this one out. It's banging and not too many people are talking about the foreign freight com so i feel like i should put it out there it's my hidden gem fragrance i'll see you guys again real soon peace to my man chad my name is maximilian and you bitches already know that i know peace hello everybody killer here i just want to thank chad quickly for asking me to be part of this collaboration for the price guys it's outstanding and this one is enter bar by rasasi very nice boozy opening with that sort of blackcurrant wine accord it's very spicy very citrusy it's got some floral elements in here too very musky fruity woodiness and it, it is very very long lasting on my skin beast more projection longevity very 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 good compliment getter i think you can use it for clubbing for dates very very good uh, in the night oriental spicy woody sweet if you like silver mountain water by creed it sort of has that black currant fruity sort of uh, citrus muskiness i really love the presentation on this one uh, it's a really thick glass bottle yeah that's enter barbara sassy i really recommend that fragrance thanks for watching guys and i'll see you what's going on chad and what's happening fragrance community bob and note at you bringing you my gem this is dossier herbolabrio man my italian is not good to say the least okay but what i am bringing you is a gem okay for granted to give this one 4.3 out of 5. Base Notes gives it with only 4 votes, 100%. We're trying to keep this sucker on a minute, so let's roll. This is 
her message, Ombre Nagale, this is a dupe, okay? We're talking a $25 to $31 price point on eBay. Something, this is apple pie in a bottle, guys. This is a fall and winter scent, a comforting scent. Something I think you guys would really enjoy. The price point is right if you want to smell like apple pie. Just did a review on this one so you can check it out. You guys have a great day and I hope this is something that interests you. I'd like to touch on my note. Chad, my beautiful friend from across the seas, thank you for inviting me to do this video. It's always a pleasure talking to you. And you know that, it's just great. I'm not going to beat around the bush, I'm going to get right into it. There's only one true hidden gem in my entire collection that I think is worth mentioning, and that is Sandalwood Cologne by Gio F. Trumper. They are a very old barber shop that's been around since 1875 in London. They've got quite an array of fragrances, but this one is the standout one in their collection. Of course, it's got sandalwood in it, but it is... It's a, it, to me, it's like a modern take on a fourgere. It's got the typical things like, that's in a fourgere, like lavender and lemon and things like that. But this is enhanced tenfold by things like geranium. You've got carnation in there as well. There's vanilla to smooth it out. It's very rich. It's very, very powerful. It's very unusual. You, you can feel that sandalwood's in it, but it's a whole lot more than that. It's got outstanding performance and longevity. I mean, it's one of those ones you have to really be careful when you apply it. But man, is this a compliment getter. It's very different, and I've never smelled this on any other person walking around my city in my whole life. Beautiful. It's quite unusual, this one. It's got such a good core to it that really is really solid. It's, it's just brilliant. Anyway, I couldn't tell you more about it because I, I could go on forever. Again, thanks, Chad, for letting me be a part of it. On to the next person. Hello everybody, my name is Matt and I come from the YouTube fragrance review channel Fragrance Matt. I would just like to say a big thank you to Chad for adding me into this collaboration on fragrances that are rare gems. Well, here are three fragrances from my collection which I think are very unpopular and deserve a little bit more praise. This is an amazing fragrance and this comes from the house of Dunhill. This is a fragrance called Dunhill 51.3 North. Now this is a rhubarb, cedarwood and vanilla fragrance. It dries down to the most gorgeous, one of the most gorgeous vanilla notes I've ever smelled. The rhubarb in this is very sweet but it is very sophisticated and it's actually a really great fragrance. Lasts for a long time too. So please check this one out guys. This is Next one on this list we go to the house of Mont Blanc, <laughs> and this one is called Presence. Now it isn't as popular as Individual, but it's still an amazing fragrance. We get apple, cinnamon, and sandalwood, so it's a nice woody sort of green fragrance. Very, very nice, lasts for a long time as well, and definitely deserves a bit of praise. So that's Presence by Mont Blanc. And the last one on this list comes from the house of Jupe, or Yope, depending on how you want to pronounce it. And this is Yope Splash, a very nice sort of exotic summer fragrance. It's got some cassowary plum in the opening there and it's also got some salty sea notes and it's got some beautiful sandalwood in the dry down. This is a gorgeous fragrance, perfect for the summer and I would highly recommend checking it out because it's going to be discontinued soon. So thank you so much Chad for adding me into this video. I really do appreciate it buddy. Take care of yourselves and thanks so much everybody for watching. This Hi guys, video. it's Sebastian with Looking, Feeling, Small and Great. So my hidden gem fragrance is Oriza L. Legrand's Chypre Mousse. Now, what an odd but unique and excellent fragrance this Chypre Mousse is. This is basically like taking your garden and putting it in a bottle. We've got so many different notes here in play. With the top notes, we've got wild mint, clary sage, wild fennel, green shoot. In the heart notes, we've got oak moss, galbanum, angelica, fern, wild clover, mastic resin, violet leaf. And in the base notes, we've got vetiver, pine needle, oak moss again, mushrooms, roasted chestnut, leather, got uh, labdanum, and balsam. So this is unique, a very, very unique modern take on a Chypre, and it's actually a uh, remake of one of their classic fragrances as this brand is a resurrected perfume house from Paris, France. They used to produce fragrances in the early 1900s. Check this brand out, really, really unique fragrance, and their whole catalog is pretty unique as well. They've got a really nice patchouli fragrance called Horizon, got a really nice incense fragrance, like a Greek Orthodox incense fragrance called Reb de Ocean, and countless others. But this would be my hidden gem, Chypre Mousse by Orza L. Legrand. Dad, hello everybody, let me show you my hidden gems. Boom! <coughs> First one, Chypre Palatin, very boozy, animalic, resinacy, and floral. 
very complex and unique. It gets me compliment and it lasts quite a while in my skin. Not for everybody though. Always sample before you buy. <coughs> Boom. Second one, Bois d'Armeni by Guerlain. This is a sweet benzoin, woody, smoky and powdery type of fragrance. Smells thin, almond, but it stays kind of closer to my skin. And I think it's perfect for a formal occasions or dates. So this is pretty much it guys. These are my two picks and to the next guy. Hey Fragcom, Freddy Frags. Let me start off by thanking Chad, A Gentleman's Journey. A woman's man, I mean, uh, everyday man for uh, allowing me to be part of this collaboration. Um, you know, you're my brother. I got nothing but love for you. And I appreciate you constantly doing things to bring this community together. Hats off to you. And let me just start. And it's all the house of Andy Tower at Tower Perfumes, and that's Soto La Luna Gardenia. This is a gem in my eyes. Oh man, uh, you basically get gardenia, vanilla, tonka. Um, it is a little green in the opening, um, but that's a great scent in my eyes. It brings me some childhood memories. That's another reason why it may uh, hit some string, you know, it may be pulling on some strings on my heart, but it is a gem. Um, I think it deserves at least a sniff from most of you guys. And if you want more, information on this fragrance check out my channel i have a full review up on there all right till next time guys peace stay blessed on to the next review Howdy, this is chad from shaving on the dark side first i want to say thank you to chad the other chad from a gentleman's journey for this collaboration first thing i want to suggest is my two hidden gems one I already did a review one which is actually loo masculine lolita limpica this right here is actually a very green fragrance. It is the keynote here is going to be violet sorrel wood, which is actually a wild grass, very very fresh with with a uh, uh, lemon verbena note in here. Nothing synthetic about it. Very fresh. Another one is that some that a lot of people have have not heard of. One is actually going to be Or Flames Sir Avebury, which is actually a yerba meat and a black tea note fragrance with a cashmere wood foundation a wonderful scent for any time of the year this right here is for warm weather and this is for any time and those are my two hidden gems what's going on everybody Al here Street Sense my hidden gem this is a fragrance that I love and nobody talks about what is it? it's from Carolina Herrera 212 Pop for Men yes 212 Pop for Men I know everybody's like what? This is a summer flanker from 2011. What does it smell like? You get that fresh cut grass, just like the original 212. But you have the icy, frosty mint thrown in there. A real nice mint. Not like a mint like that's gonna smack you in the face like, like a Cartier Roadster. This is a more like an icy, real nice, real cool mint to go with that fresh cut grass. And it just smells amazing. To me, it lasts on my skin about six hours. It projects for about two to three hours. I wear about eight sprays of this bad boy right here, and it just does it for me. It takes me there. Price range, I'm gonna say it goes for about 30 to 40 dollars. 100 ml comes in one size, 30 to 40 dollars. If you're a fan of the original 212 and you wanna have something a little bit different, check this out right here. Let me not say a little bit different. It's, it's similar to 212 in a big way, but yet different. And that's what I love about it. So I'm a huge fan of the original 212. And this one, they did a great job. 212 Pop for Men, once again, my hidden gem. I love this juice. If you can get your nose on it, please. Hello, everyone. I'm Carlos from Brooklyn Fragrance Lover. Thank you, Chad, for inviting me to be a part of your collaboration. Mr. King Collaborator himself. <laughs> I think you do the most collaborations out of any YouTube reviewer ever. I'm very happy to do it, my friend. So an underrated fragrance, in my opinion, I think is... Tom Ford from the Signature Collection. This is a really nice, smooth, elegant, very masculine fragrance that I don't see many people talking about. I hear people talking about Tobacco Vanille, Grey Vetiver, all the other Tom Fords, but not this one. As you can see, I went through 
pretty much half the bottle. I think it's a really, really good fragrance. Maybe not the best performance, but when people smell you, it just smells really amazing. So that's my underrated pick for Chad's collaboration here. On to the next. Hey guys, Manny from the Cascade Sense Fragrance Station with you on Chad's A Gentleman's Journey channel. Thank you for having me on, Chad. And I actually only have one hidden gem for you because most of my fragrances, for the most part, are kind of well known. But this one right here isn't. It's called Los Angeles. She called, but he was unreachable. It's part of the fictions line at Anthropology. And the perfumer was Josh Meyer from Imaginary Authors. It's a great scent. It's actually very reminiscent of a Creed. There's lots of ambergris here as well as linden blossom and as well as some orange blossom. It's just a very citrusy, very sea-like scent at the end of the day. And I think it's great for the summer. And I don't know why it was only marketed towards women, but for the most part, anthropology as a whole, that store is only marketed towards women, but it's definitely a unisex scent. I think it does lean feminine, but it's a great citrus, airy, creed-like scent at an affordable price if you are into that. So thank you for having me on again, Chad, and on to the next guy. Uh, my hidden gem picks will be starting with Assassin Knowledge. This is a beautiful aquatic floral liqueur with fresh aromatic vibe coming from cardamom and fresh pepper. Uh, this is more aquatic and watery than floral, so definitely unisex there. Think of a clean uh, lily pad or a lotus flower just sitting in the clean body of water. Just beautiful stuff. Great uh, for summer high heat seasons. And then this is only $15. Average performer, but just great stuff. Uh, next will be Grand de Joie by Eau d'Italie, Seeds of Joy. And let me tell you, first time I smelled this, it brought a big smile on my face. Uh, beautiful, uh, fruity, green accord. Um, and then the fruity accord is coming from those beautiful, sour, tangy pomegranate and then red berries. And then you get the green accord that is actually coming from the freezer note. And the dry down, you get a soft, nutty accord from the praline note. This is beautiful. Fruits are well done, unisex, not teenage like um, the food there. It's just beautiful. This will run you around $150, and then this will be great for spring and summer. Again, thank you for uh, allowing me to participate in this uh, collaboration, and on to the next reviewer. Thank you. Gentlemen, my name is Michael. I'm another Fraghead. Thank you so much, Chad, for allowing me to do this. It's really an honor. Now, my first hidden gem is from the House of Creed, which sounds crazy because everybody knows Creed, but Neroli Sauvage does not get a lot of play. Much to the success of the other fragrances in the house, Neroli Sauvage, it is a beautiful fragrance that is definitely bottle worthy. I know I'll be getting one soon. The grapefruit, bergamot, and Neroli together actually give it a lemon vibe, which is great for the high heat. My next hidden gem is from the house that I work for, which is Dua Fragrances, so that is what I wear most of the time. Dua Fragrances Belgian Choco Truffle is my favorite gourmand of all time, and certainly the best chocolate you'll ever try. It not only has chocolate, but it has vanilla, it has caramel, but also has almonds and dried plum, which give it a really sophisticated, really masculine depth to it. I wore it out in the heat today, it was 110 degrees on the index, and it just radiated off of me, but it did not get glowing. It's absolutely beautiful, and if you give this one a try, you're going to love it. Thanks again, Chad, for letting me do this. Talk to you guys Hello, later. ladies and gentlemen, and thank you so much for tuning into this video. I want to start things off by giving a very special thank you to my friend, Chad. Chad, thank you for the opportunity, and thank you for having me a part of this video. But why did you save me for last? I feel a little disrespected by that. I'm only teasing around. Uh, and Chad, this is a very dumb idea for a video. Because if it's a hidden gem, why would I want to share it with the rest of the world? Again, I'm only teasing. Chad, I love you. I love your channel. I love what you do. Thank you so much for having me be a part of this video. I really do appreciate the opportunity. And um, here it is. I'm going to share my hidden gem with you guys. This is a fragrance that I have been wearing a lot. And uh, I don't know if you can tell. If I turn it sideways, you can tell there's a good amount of juice missing from this one because... I wear it at least once a week, uh, to be honest. I wear it at least once a week. And in my collection of over 500 fragrances, I think that says a lot. And the fragrance is by a company called Room 1015, and it's called Electric Wood. Now, the uh, creative director behind this band, brand 
is in a band and uh, he plays guitar for this band and they tour and everything. I think they're based out of France and I did a full review of this fragrance and this fragrance was inspired by the scent of an electric guitar. It has a great deal of ambroxan which almost adds this staticky undertone with a regal quality about it too. This ambery warmth and the smell of it reminds me of the feedback and the distortion that you get from an amplifier. It's so weird that there is that almost like synesthesia synchronicity to it. It's such a beautiful scent and it's a hidden gem for me because I don't hear it being talked about a lot in the community. I know I've, I've sung my high praise for it but I haven't seen any other reviewers throw in their two scents or at least not that many. I have seen people comment on it but I think it's a wonderful scent and uh, Chad once again I want to thank you so much for having me be a part of this video. Great selections by all of the gentlemen and everybody in this video as a whole Thank you so much for making this community what it is and a very special thank you to you, Chad, once again for all of your input and your years of service. Thank you for doing what you do. So guys, thank you so much for tuning in and keep tuned to Chad's channel. A lot of really great content coming out in the future. Take care.